So I was uh, tiptoeing around my wife and my baby, both fast asleep at four o'clock in the morning to feed my injured cat. Yes, that is my life this week when I suddenly heard tale of Asmund Gold reacting to my colleague Smash JT. And I thought to myself, well, that's a fantastic thing. It's always a really good day when one of us sort of lower mid carders manages to make the main event. So I figured that's a fantastic thing. But of course, I checked it out and lo and behold, I discovered it was the bad kind of react, the uh, detracty kind of react. And to be fair, there are two very good arguments to be made for whether or not Smash JT's coverage of Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is, or rather IGN's lack of coverage of it, constitutes journalism or just rumor mongering. And whether either or neither have any place as we seek to replace the prostitutes. It's an interesting quandary. I'm very interested to get to the bottom of it. And, uh, well, let's be honest here. Spoilers, I probably won't get to a conclusion in this video. But the ride will be fun anyway. Hello and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to check out a situation that sort of just happened. It's a bit of fun. As uh, Smash JT released a video the other day uh, where he was talking about how IGM was not seemingly going to cover the Lollipop Chainsaw Repop remaster or whatever you want to call it. That has just come out. And uh, at the same time, Asmongold then saw his video about that and decided that that wasn't worth reporting on because there were no concrete citations. And it got me thinking, what are we supposed to do in these situations? Are we supposed to say, well, it is IGN, they can't be trusted, and we are at war. It is Gamergate 2, so why not get some salt from the company that smeared Black Myth Wukong? On the other hand, are we supposed to take ourselves ultra seriously and only report things that have actual factual concrete citations or quotations or anything along those lines that help us back up a story? Well, that is a good question and one I will hope to answer while we watch all of this unfolding. Uh, so we can begin then by ascertaining exactly what Lollipop Chainsaw is for some of you out there who I know in my audience will not have a clue what this is, but will be watching just to support me. So thank you very much. Lollipop Chainsaw is a game that came out in 2012 for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, as you can probably tell from this small picture, but we'll get a bigger version of it up in a minute. It's a hack and slashy, fun, no real serious cares in the world action romp featuring a cheerleader with a chainsaw killing zombies this is the game this is the kinds of games that came out in 2012 as you might notice if you are among those gamers in my audience the name suda 51 who is responsible for the no more heroes games as well as james gunn yes literally that james gunn <laughs> who made the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And, of course, also um, the Suicide Squad. And, and a bunch... And now is running DC, apparently. Or evidently. Um, so this game, obviously, was a ridiculous idea. It's it's a send-up. It's a, a exploitation kind of thing. It, it's, it's harmless fun, right? It's a cheerleaders versus zombies with chainsaws. It's called Lollipop Chainsaw for a reason. And of course, that means that contemporary journo rats or prostitutes, thank you Simdal, like Kotaku are calling it a janky mess. And uh, this is apparently not a good cover or, or remaster of it. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to be, you know, in any way good faith with this um, review, but you already know straight out of the gate that today's activist journos are not going to be treating this with any measure of good faith whatsoever so enter smash jt who sees a tweet from uh, manga lawyer who is quite reliable for um sources i suppose and uh, has posted that this game is not getting reviewed by ign 
Now, IGN did review the game originally, and they gave it a 5 out of 10, which was how IGN used to conduct themselves. And to be fair, the game really isn't worth more than a 6, the original, by those standards at that time. By today's standards, <laughs> it could be leagues better than that, just by virtue of having a girl who looks like a girl. But uh, that's one element of this. However, Asmund Gold got sent it on one of his Twitch streams. And, um, well, he had a different take entirely. IGN refuses to review Lollipop Chainsaw Massacre. Somebody says the video is pure speculation. The guy's reporting a Twitter post as a fact. I don't think it was ever called Lollipop Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know why people keep calling it that. Instead of starting my videos off saying, welcome to another episode of Smash JT, I feel uh -huh. like part of it should be, you can't spell ignorant without IGN. It's uh, two I points below Dustborn. Man, if I... I think we all know, basically, that uh, 5 out of 10 was considered pretty trashy, even by those standards. Uh, if, if a game got a 7, that was worth playing. If it got a 5, that was, you know, this is something your aunt bought you or... Or something along those lines. Oh, oh man. Give me a like and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking yeah. down how uh -huh. IGN is refusing to review the remake of Lollipop where, Chainsaw Repop. Can't, dude. You don't have to, like, go, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. But I like, I like Asmongold, don't get me wrong. I really do. I, I like a lot of what he's done since he got into Final Fantasy XIV. That's when I became aware of him. Still, come on, man. Like, good faith and all that. Because... By their own words, there's not much different. It's the same game, just a new coat of paint. We don't need to. It doesn't this? fit their message. IGN is unwilling to. Unwilling, probably because where does it say they're unwilling? Okay, so there's the original tweet by Mangaloya or Learning the Law. IGN is unwilling to review Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, probably because they it might trigger some of the they them staff. Instead, they published an article announcing the launch, but reminded the audience that they gave it the game a 5 out of 10. Which is unfair. How are they still in business? Well, I, I follow Mangaloy. He's, uh... I actually have no idea. I'm sure it's a he, but can't really be sure anyway. Um, it's a good account. Drops pretty solid, consistently worth listening to takes. Uh, what's the citation here? The game was a cult classic, okay? It was considered a cult hit. People liked it. People who played it, they liked it a lot would easily hit the seven mark because everything coming out of IGN is a seven. At least it starts at a seven. Unless the game doesn't inject DEI into it, which I guess Lollipop Chainsaw Massacre. Isn't that the point? The game is true to its original. Oh, dude, you are just leaping through this video. You're not even listening to it properly. Like, he does mention that it's just a rumor. There's not even any evidence of this at all. Where is this coming from? Like... As Mongo Lawyer pointed out on Twitter, the refusals likely due to the fear that the game might trigger some of their they them staff. Yeah, it probably will. I mean, let's be honest. That is, is this a joke. No, but that is likely to happen, isn't it? Because in this day and age, what do we know? This is the same company that decided to call Black Myth Wukong sexist based on a mistranslation done, again, in bad faith. It is a bit tiresome to continue to be giving these people the benefit of the doubt when they give absolutely none to us. There's no evidence of this at all. Well, I mean, there is some evidence. The evidence would be the fact that there is not a review of it. This is a game that IGN is not going to review again unless they get enough public pressure on them, put on them to say, okay, yeah, we're going to do it just to prove to everyone that we can do it. But I have a feeling IGN is worried about re-reviewing this and then having everyone come down on them saying, oh, you're giving it a 5 out of 10, a 6 out of 10, when just last week you gave Dustboard and Concord 7 out of 10s? It shows losing. Well, in that respect, they have absolutely screwed themselves out of any sense of objectivity, which is precisely the problem with modern games journalism and the reason why several of us have stepped up to give our own opinions instead as, you know, verifiable bona fide gamers who actually like playing games instead of using the 
art form as a platform to talk about fucking social politics. Losing attention, care, passion. Gamers don't go there anymore for reasons like this. Their credibility's at rock bottom. It's clear they've forgotten their roots and now are more interested in gatekeeping content based on how it fits their ever evolving standards. But the audience isn't blind. We're tired. I mean, come on, man. Say something. Don't just sit there and... Is this what Twitch streamers are like? 10 minute video that it's based off of a tweet that is a completely unsubstantiated post at all. What is going on? That's how YouTube works. I just like, look. All right, let's find out. Hold on, I found it. All right. IGN is unwilling to review Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, probably because of blah, blah, blah. We already know this. Where is this coming from? Where's this image taken from? What? What is this a screenshot of? Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is a remake of the original... Follows high school. All right, that's got to be enough, right? Um, IGN said Lollipop Chainsaw doesn't even attempt to differentiate itself from the genre, and most of what it does try new in the realm of its characters and writing ultimately ends up taking away from an incredible on-paper action game. Okay. So we've established here that IGN has commented on the game. They've commented that the game exists, it's coming out, and they've said absolutely nothing about watch out for our review coming soon which is something you would reasonably expect to come from a site like IGN it says uh, in our 5 out of 10 review uh, da, da, da. no this is the review this is the 2012 review so yeah i mean this is this implies that their 2012 review is enough and they're not going to review it again so, I decided to just skip to the end for your benefit. Yes, in essence, IGN has written a piece that Mangaloid did actually repost and cite, where they said that the Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, Remake, Remaster, whatever you want to call it, is there, but isn't substantially different enough for them to consider re-reviewing it even though the times have changed and everything like that but they didn't actually mention the times changing which is probably why Asmund Gold has an issue with Smash JT auto ascribing this to the changing political attitudes and the they them stuff and and so many words but I still very much believe that it's fair to imply that the reason they wouldn't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole would be because it's IGN, they are Kotaku in all but name, they are trying to cling to some semblance of um, the idea that they are legit and not a bunch of activists, even though they have written hit pieces about video games like Black Myth Wukong, which is why I think that we as Gamergate YouTubers, who are presenting ourselves in essence as an alternative to them, should in no way give them the benefit of the doubt. So I ultimately side with Smash JT. IGN's lack of a review for this is conspicuous, as is their lack of any reason given besides apparently just laziness. But that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans. If you'd like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Check out the Discord link below and I'll chat to you next time. Enough is enough. We draw the line.